so let us discuss a case on coagulation disorder right we have a patient who came to icu with spontaneous intraperitoneal bleeding right and his coagulation parameters are as follows prothrombin 10 12 apt 64 second we have done one mixing studies one is to one immediately the aptt decreased to 30 per second but later it increased and become more than what we had in the beginning or equal to it right also we had thrombin time of that patient and reptilis time all are normal fibrinogen is also normal right so what is the most common cause of this patient's coagulopathy let us discuss before going into details of about the answer let us have a brief overview of the coagulation pathway we have two system intrinsic system extrinsic system and a common pathway right the common pathway's purpose is to activate the factor 2 which will convert the fibrinogen into fibrin right and the factor 7 is common to the extrinsic pathway so apt2 will measure the intrinsic and the common pathway affected by all coagulation factor except factor 7 right also we have vitamin k dependent factors factor 2 7 9 and 10 and when they are affected at, at least the factor 7 the pt ino will increase also the apt2 will increase right now coming to our case we had an elevation of the aptt so we can have four differential diagnosis or five factor deficiency or inhibitor we can have heparin can produce increase in aptt we can have direct thrombin inhibitors and lupus anticoagulants so we'll do a mixing study so we'll do a mixing study in the mixing study we'll mix normal plasma and patient's plasma in one is to one ratio and incubate it at 37 degrees celsius results are measured immediately and serially after two hours aptt so if there is deficiency what will happen is the aptt will correct and remain corrected throughout the incubation period but in place of inhibitor but in case of inhibitor the aptt may correct immediately or may not correct immediately but the inhibitors will become more active as the incubation time goes on right so the aptt will gradually prolong which had happened in our case right so the APDT has gradually prolonged in our case. So definitely our patient has an inhibitor. Why not lupus anticoagulant? In case of lupus anticoagulant, what will happen is APDT does not correct neither immediately nor with incubation. With inhibitor, it may correct immediately, but in lupus anticoagulant, it does not correct immediately. However, in our case, patient presented with APDT increase and bleeding. However, in patient who has lupus anticoagulant, they will present with thrombotic complication, right? So they will present with thrombotic complication, not bleeding complications. So because our patient presented with bleeding complication, it rules out virtually any kind of lupus anticoagulant, right? What about heparin? Heparin can also cause increase in APTT, but in case of heparin, the thrombium time will also be increased also the reptilis time will be normal in our case both the thrombin time and the reptilis time both are normal so this rules out any heparin or direct thrombin inhibitor right? of course the patient is not having any dic because in dic pt inr will be elevated and fibrinogen will be less in our case both are normal so there is definitely no dic and in case of vitamin k deficiency the pt will also increase which is not in our case so there is no vitamin k deficiency there is no dic there is no lupus anticoagulant there is no heparin but definitely person is having some inhibitor now what is reptilis time so in case of heparin and direct thrombin inhibitor they will inhibit the thrombin which will increase the aptt and thrombin time however if you do not know whether your patient is having heparin in the blood or not and have a elevation of aptt or tt what you can do, we can put a reptilase test. Reptilase is an enzyme which is whose activity is similar to thrombin, but it is not influenced by antithrombin. So if you put reptilase in the blood and measure the reptilase time, it will come normal in case of heparin presence, heparin or DTI, because the reptilase will act as a thrombin. 
so it's like having thrombin in presence of heparin or diethrombin inhibitor so the reptile time will be normal in case of heparinized blood or dti blood right this is reptile time so in a patient who is receiving heparin the tt will be increased but reptile time will be normal so in our case both tt and reptile time are normal so patient is definitely not having any heparin right so this is how we approach to isolated elevation of epitt thank you very much